So let's just go. One of my favorite skincare brands. Gelique. Amazing skincare brand. Very smart marketers. So they sell all around the world, not just in Australia uh, and America, but all around the world, okay? You can learn a lot about how you should behave as a fledgling big business by looking at actual big businesses. And so this is how Jalik handles it. Jalik has, let's just get rid of that, scroll down here. Jalik has, if we come here to preferences, let's have a look. Uh, Jalik in Greece, Jalik in Hong Kong, Jalik in Japan. So they've got a separate website for each of their um, countries that they sell in. So Hong Kong, continue on Hong Kong. And that's uh, Jalik in Japan. Bloody, bloody, blah. Okay, so that's what Jalik does. Now that creates a problem for social media because typically what will happen is, let's just go to Facebook. What will happen is um, there's one or two ways of handling this on Facebook. You can either set up country specific things like Jalik. Japan, Jalik, Greece, Jalik, Australia, blah, de, blah, de, blah. Or you can do what Jalik does and they only have the one page and they make that applicable for everybody. And it really depends on what you are looking to do um, as part and parcel of your overall strategy. So let's just go and have a look what these guys, what advertising these run. So if I can add to page transparency and go see more and go to their ad library. So this is all running off the same page. This is all running off the same page. Jalik Cosmetics Shop, Jalik, similar regional ads. So they've got a North Korea. Oh, so they've got a regional ad split across it. That's what they have done. They split it across different regions. Let's just go to Australia. Yeah. So what Jalik do is they have separate website and separate Facebook page. That's what they do. Separate website, separate Facebook page, which is a very, very cool thing to do. Uh, it's also what I do as well. So I want to keep things separate, keep things split up. And that way it's, it's, it keeps things cleaner. And then there's a one piece of software that I want to show you that does this for you. Thank you. I'll give you this link actually. Thank you. Send to all. So if you are running, if you've only got the one Facebook page, but you've got two different um, websites that you can send traffic to, then what you do use is what's called a URL rotator based on uh, an IP address. And you let's see if I can show you an advert with this being done. What you would do is you would run an advert on your Facebook page for a promotion and you would have that same promotion running in two different countries. So let's just go here, look for instance. So where it says, and then when, it, when you click on the learn more, instead of taking us to Jalik in Australia, instead of doing that, the URL would automatically take us to, based on this, to whichever country we were targeting. So if, if the, wherever the customer was in. So if the customer was in Australia, they would see this Australian version. If the customer was in the USA, they would see a USA version. I feel like I've done a shit ass job of answering that for you, but uh, hopefully you get that. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? 
Australia. Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia, and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business. And the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon. And indeed, Anthony, who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon, selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.